One common question that I get asked a few times is, um, should I work out with heavier sticks or is it okay to, uh, to work out with heavier sticks? Um, you talk to different drummers, you'll get different answers, you know what I mean? Some people will tell you it's cool, um, some people will encourage it, other people will tell you it's counterproductive. You know, everybody's got their own opinion on what, uh, what types of sticks you should work out with. A lot of people just think you should just play with, you know, whatever sticks you normally use or the ones that you should practice with. Um, others will say, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to work out with something heavier so when you go back to your regular sticks, everything just kind of feels better or whatever. So, should you work out with heavier sticks? My personal opinion, um, I think it depends. I think it depends on the situation. If you're a new drummer, then I think working out with heavier sticks at that stage is counterproductive because you don't have, you don't, your technique's not developed yet and there's just, you're just going to be spinning your wheels thinking that you're going to be getting better by using heavier sticks just because they're heavier. The only situations where I think using heavier sticks are counterproductive is if your form sucks. So, you know, if you can't play a good double, if you can't play a good single, if your technique is not developed, then there's absolutely no point in you using heavier sticks. Um, just stick to the ones that you're currently using and just work on your form and work on your technique and make sure you get all that down first before you attempt to move up to any kind of heavier stick. I think if you're learning a new technique, if you're trying to develop a particular grip or you know, you're working on a new rudiment or whatever, um, I probably wouldn't recommend the heavier sticks yet. Use the sticks that you're going to be playing your drums with in that case. And then again, once you get the form down, then maybe you can you know, pick up the heavier sticks for a little bit. And, um, and just play for a few minutes and then swap back and forth. When I was learning the uh, traditional grip and you know, I was doing all of my exercises and stuff, I would just do really basic movements. You know, I would go from that and then for a few seconds, I'd pick up the Hardemans you know, and just do the same thing. But I wasn't going nuts with these things. You know what I mean? Like it's not, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend that you go super crazy in big animated movements or whatever. Using the heavier sticks for me while I was learning the traditional grip just really helped me with the form. And it helped me to, um, to just sort of recognize and acknowledge the weight of the stick, you know, while I was doing, while I was doing those exercises. So it just, it kind of helped me to get my form together um, doing that because the foundation was already there. So it's not like I was starting from scratch with bad grip and going straight to heavier sticks. So that's one thing that I actually did often. While I was learning traditional grip, I would swap back and forth, play my regular sticks for a few minutes and then pick up the Hardemans and then go back and blah, blah, blah. When I'm warming up before a show, um, I'll use these sticks and I won't do anything specific. Like I'll just start moving the sticks around, you know, I'll play doubles, you know, singles, single, you know, paradiddles, flams, and just do that kind of stuff for about five minutes, ten minutes, or however much free time we have before, uh, before I hit the stage. And I tell you, man, by the time I sit down, around the kit and pick up my regular sticks. I feel like friggin' Luke Cage up there. You know what I mean? These things feel like pencils and everything just kind of feels easier to play. Like, I don't know if it's a placebo thing. Um, maybe it's just in my head, but the sticks feel easily 50% lighter when I go back to these. And I'm just, I'm playing everything with just a little bit more power, a little bit more confidence. But the stick hasn't changed, so you know everything is everything is basically the same. 
I just feel a lot stronger doing it. So, I mean, that's my two cents, man, on heavier sticks. If you got a few years experience under your belt, your technique is good, go ahead. Put a heavier pair in your bag and, and use them to warm up. It's a great way to warm up before, uh, before hitting the stage. For new drummers, new drummers that are frantically practicing on the, on the practice pad, just get your form down first. The heavier sticks aren't going to help you physically get better. Um, learn the form first, and then you can start messing around with uh, picking up heavier sticks and, and doing all of that kind of stuff. But again, if you're a new drummer, I would stay away from those. Another thing, too, that I might not recommend, there's a brand of sticks. I don't know what, I don't know what they're called, but um, there's a brand of sticks out there that are made of metal. These are weighted sticks, and they're made out of metal. Um, different gauges of metal. I think that might be a little, little too extreme. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't pick up a pair of metal sticks and start messing with them. Just grab a pair of good hickory drum core sticks. And um, if you're going to do that, and you know, I mean, there's a bunch of them out there. And just keep them in your bag. You know what I mean? Using the warm up before a show, or. Um, you know, swap back and forth if you're doing just basic exercises or whatever. All of that stuff's fine, man. It's not, you're not going to get, get hurt if you know what you're doing. So, yeah, man, that's my two cents. Um, I highly recommend it for experienced drummers. Just give it a shot, man. Just, just play with a pair of drum core sticks for about five minutes and then go on stage and see what the difference is. It's friggin', it's bananas. So, yeah, man, that's my two cents. Don't forget to tell people where you learned this. Like, subscribe. See you in the next video.